So, uh, progressive rock, or art rock, has always been a passion for me. Um, it's been the music that has moved me the most in my life, uh, more than any other style. Um, some may argue what it is, and there's endless uh, arguments galore on social media and such about what progressive rock really is. For me, it's kind of the right mix of rock and jazz with classical elements, often some great storytelling when there's lyric, uh, and that really makes prog kind of the music that really engages me, it engages me emotionally, and of course it engages me as a thinking person because the music does cause you to consciously think about it. Um, for a long time I thought I was alone. Uh, constantly trying to win over friends and family uh, by playing something for them by Rush or Yes or Genesis, hoping they'd see the genius of the music. Um, and eventually, you know, I learned that, well, <laughs> if I wasn't quite alone, I was kind of in a minority. <laughs> but that's okay. As I grew older, I found that other people, really lots of other people that I didn't have in my immediate circle, had the same kind of love for this style of music. Uh, and eventually I found that there were quite a few of us. Um, now, Prague is not a mainstream art form, certainly, so um, it really needs to have attention drawn to it. Um, it it's, it's really important for us, as the people who love it, to keep it alive and to support the musicians and their families, of course, that produce this music, and ultimately to grow the audience that appreciates it so that it stays alive as a style of music that uh, we all love so much. So, um, in the U.S., there have traditionally been very few events uh, that bring large-scale exposure to Prague music. Um, whereas in Europe, there are a lot more um, in such a small s s you know, s space on the planet. Uh, Prague stock has been my way of contributing to the U.S. scene in support of Prague music and, and the musicians. Um, and the team that has uh, helped me with this, the, the team I've really been fortunate enough to be able to assemble, um, most of whom are volunteers, is devoted to this same goal. Um, it's been a real pleasure to helm this festival over the years and to work with this amazing cast of volunteers and, and others uh, who provide services and, and provide such an incredible set of support for this world-class event. Um, and 2019, as you say, marks our third year for Prague Stock, and we hope this festival lives on for many more years to come. Wow, uh, too many to count, frankly. Um, seeing people gleefully enjoying the music, um, reveling in not just meeting, but hanging out with the musicians that they revere has been really cool. Just having a great time with friends and old and new. Um, it, it's great to see this happen. Uh, it's simply amazing. Um, but if I had to pick a few, um, let's see, favorite moments. I'd start with, yeah, I'd start with the first note played by the trio of Francis Dunnery, Rachel Flowers, and Peter Jones in 2017, because that meant we were off the ground and running as a, as a real festival. Um, and of course, every note they played after that first note, because the first set from our first year really set the bar for what Prague Stock is. Uh, to this day, it's talked about as the best opening of a festival many people have ever experienced. Um, it feels great. I don't know how true it is, to be honest with you. There's a whole lot of festivals and a whole lot of events in the world, but I could tell you um, the, the, the feedback has been great about that event. Uh, and seeing and hearing uh, Rachel Flowers uh, perform the ELP classic Tarkus on that amazing Fazioli piano at the Union County Performing Arts Center. I still get chills whenever I think about it, um, so that's another great one. Uh, other moments, um, I'd go with Tom Brislin sitting down at a keyboard unplanned at about one in the morning at one of our after parties in 2017 and dazzling the packed crowd with his brilliance. So he's just amazing. Um, and as some who know me will probably expect, um, seeing Eddie Jobson uh, and what is likely the final performance of his band UK on the stage uh, in 2018 was simply <laughs> incredible for me. Um, there are so many other moments. Um, how can you really choose your favorite one? Yeah, um, we've wanted Prague Stock to be more than just a great collection of artists playing sets on stage. Uh, and that's great. You have to have that. It's a festival. But we've tried very hard to encourage our artists to collaborate together on stage. Um, and we even put together some individual artists and asked them to just make some magic happen together. Um, we began our first ever festival in 2017 with one of those very things where Francis Dunnery, Rachel Flowers, and Peter Jones came together at our request and then stunned our audience with all sorts of prog classics, including uh, mixing in their own original material. Um, the amazing Dave Kersner uh, 
bringing both Francis Dunnery and Peter Jones into his 2017 performances was just unforgettable. Um, the 2018 collaborations uh, with Michael Sadler of Saga, where Tom Brislin, uh, Enchant, and Dave Kersner worked their t his talents into their sets, was amazing. Uh, it's all the stuff of legend. It's going to make history as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, just introducing Michael Sadler to Rachel Flowers, as we kind of did, or were part of, in 2018, uh, led them to produce a wonderful EP together, and then they came and performed it for us in 2018. I, I, we can't even describe how proud we are to have been had, had anything to do with that amazing collaboration. Um, and our after parties, um, those have been rife with artists sitting with, with others. Uh, Steve Unruh and Fido in 2017, uh, Joe Dininzon bringing his violin into Fernando Perdomo's set in 2018 and just melting the faces off the crowd, all while Paul Whitehead was sitting there uh, in front of uh, a huge canvas uh, painting his impressions of the music. Uh, this is just how we roll at Brockstock. So Rahway, uh, the city, has embraced us, uh, and now they see Prague Stock as a, as a fixture uh, on their city events calendar. Uh, it's a very arts-friendly commuter city. Uh, it's directly on a major train line, serving much of New Jersey and New York City. Uh, and being only 15 minutes away from Newark Airport, it's just insanely easy to get to our festival from pretty much anywhere in the U.S. or the world. Um, the city downtown is packed with great restaurants and bars. Um, it's basically leaving you wanting for nothing. Um, the UC Pack Theater, Union County Performing Arts Center, is an absolute gem uh, with beautiful lines, very comfortable seating, uh, great acoustics, uh, and the director and the staff are tireless and simply incredible people. Uh, the theater and the city are our home, uh, and we are extremely fortunate to have found them.